Okay, so we're gonna go through all the stuff required to do a trash can turkey. Uh, first and foremost, you need a lot of really good quality aluminum foil. You wanna get like restaurant quality good stuff. This here is uh, from Sam's Club. Uh, you're also gonna need some charcoal uh, lighter fluid, Kingsford uh, uh, charcoal, they were actually, I bought these two bags a couple weeks ago because we have a 16 pound turkey and these were eight pound bags. So I got 16 pounds because you want one pound of charcoal per pound of bird. However, um, it got significantly colder today on Thanksgiving. So uh, it's been like mid fifties here in the Midwest uh, or well, where I live here in Iowa leading up to it it's actually going to be in the high 40s tomorrow but today today on thanksgiving it's wonderful midwest weather and it's like 28 degrees out here so we're going to increase the charcoal uh, by about 20 percent so i had to get another bag back there doesn't really matter the brand i just always have used kingsford all right next up we have the wooden post this is what your turkey is going to sit on uh, this is just a two by two um, i just ripped it out of a didn't actually have a two by two, so I just ripped it out of a two by six and then just uh, sharpened the one end there like a pencil uh, just to make it go in a little easier. BFH, for those that don't know what that means, look it up. That's actually my little BFH. Uh, it's like a you know little three pound maul. It'll work well. This is the type of garbage can that you want to do this. Uh, this one here, I think, is like a 22-gallon. Um, actually got a new one. Uh, my old one's been used a bunch of times, so I ended up getting a new one. It's a little bit smaller. We don't have as many people to feed. Uh, so, And then, of course, you always want to bring the door gun. Uh, if you don't know what a door gun is, well, that's mine. So you never know when you might, uh, you know, when you're out here doing this, you might have something come in around here and uh you know we might be able to get lucky and get something else in the trash can you never know and then uh of course most importantly we need the bird here is our bird uh, we do have the neck and the giblets we're just going to throw those in the bottom for the animals uh you know so the the dogs and whatnot get a little uh little thanksgiving as well you need some rubber gloves there's some already uh, torn pieces uh, that are ready to go. Oh, and I forgot one more thing. Uh, over here, if I get my uh, thing to work here, rocks. You want a handful of rocks, uh, you know, six to eight, ten rocks, uh, just so you can keep your tin foil down on the ground and it doesn't blow away as you're trying to get everything set up. Um, and that's all you need. So I'm going to get this camera set up here. I'm going to start setting this up so you guys will be able to see all that start to finish. And uh, this process does not take very long, so let's get uh, through it here. You know, when you're doing this kind of stuff, you got to have the bibs on. Like, if you're going to, you know, be out here in the, in the sticks, um, you got to dress appropriately. So we're going to get our rocks over here. And we're going to start getting this tin foil laid down. Okay, so I've got, uh, I don't know, I think I ripped off six or eight pieces of tin foil. Now the goal here is to get your tin foil laid down uh, in a way that you will be able to put your fillet of charcoal around the, the can and still have it setting on the tin foil. My watch keeps trying to talk to me here. Okay. All right, we're going to need a couple more pieces of tin foil here. Now, one of the most important parts about this is as you, this top layer of tin foil, you need it to make a good seal on the actual garbage can. And so you want to pinch it up around the edge, uh, the top edge of the can. So you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. This is the best, fastest, easiest way to cook a turkey by far. Um, 
and the turkey is fantastic. Uh, it'll be the best, juiciest turkey you've ever had, guaranteed. And uh, yeah, so highly, highly recommend doing this. Okay, another rock over here, good enough, and then we're going to put one more rock right over here, like so. Okay, so that's pretty good with the tin foil. Now, you want to take a gander with your can here. You don't want the bird touching any part of the can, so I generally make my stick about the same height as the can, and then that allows me to pound in, uh, you know, eight, 10 inches or so. Uh, so you wanna kinda test fit this, but, oh, and I should say, you want a, a clean can. Hopefully that goes without saying. Uh, but when you purchase a brand new uh, trash can, you want to, uh, take it and uh, wash it out with dish soap uh, just to get all the oil out of it. So let me get this pounded in here. Lost a little wood. All right. So, uh, you can see how we got that steak pounded. It's definitely not going anywhere. Now, Surrey, you are driving me nuts. I'm gonna have to take this stupid watch off. I hate that. She keeps trying to talk to me. Okay. So that's what we're gonna end up looking like right there. Um, but, Let's get the bird on here. Now is a good time to switch to your rubber gloves. Okay. Now we're gonna get a couple more pieces of tin foil. About like yay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a ball on top of the uh, wooden stake. And this is so the turkey doesn't just fall down over the stake. So, just like this right here. Now, I'm gonna need a little more than that. So, you're gonna stick the turkey down with the, the wooden stake right up in the deuce hole of the turkey. And you don't want the wooden stake coming out of uh, out of the neck hole, you know what I mean? So you got to uh, put a tin foil ball on there. And then you also want to take tin foil and wrap it around the wood. Because we don't want our wood catching on fire. Uh, tin foil is actually a really good uh, kind of thermal insulator. So it will keep this uh, wood from getting too hot because it dissipates heat so quickly uh, so there we go all right there's our uh, wooden stake with the aluminum foil ball. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bird and you can, uh, you know, marinate your bird however you want. Uh, it's up to you. You wanna inject it marinate it, 
you know, however you want to do it, it's up to you. Uh, but there we go. Get this stuff back on there. So this bird is seasoned with uh, multiple different things, but that's for another show. Uh, you know, however you like to uh, season your bird is up to you. Okay. All right. Looks good. Now I'm going to grab the neck and the giblets. Like I said, if you got dogs, pets, whatever, um, I personally don't eat the heart and that sort of thing. Uh, but the animals will love it. So, you know, throw that down around there like so. Now, one thing you definitely want to do is you want to make sure and get rid of these gloves. You want to make sure your turkey is not touching the can anywhere. So, you know, like the little wing tips or whatever, that's not a big deal because uh, you're not eating that part anyway. But if any part of the turkey is actually touching the can, uh, it's going to get burned. So that's what you want to do right there. And now, this part is very important. You need to come around and just take your first layer of tin foil and you want to bend it up around the can and pinch it around that top seal. Make a really good seal all the way around the can. Things are getting pretty good here. Make sure that seal with that tin foil is real good all the way around the can. Make sure it's pushed down there tight. And you also, you cannot do this with a can that has a hole in it. Uh, so for those guys out there thinking that they want to put a temperature probe or something in the can, uh, you cannot do that. Uh, think of this thing as a pressure cooker. Uh, so it has to be completely sealed. Little uh, charcoal opener today. It's gonna be the uh, Tuya Knives Big Belly. Oh yeah, that'll do her. And you don't have to get real scientific on this, uh, but like I said, I'm going to increase my charcoal uh, by 20% uh, because of one, how cold it is, and two, uh, because it's windy. So if it's really cold and you got a lot of wind, uh, you're gonna want a little bit more charcoal. Okay. So, you're gonna come around and what you're doing is just making a fillet with the charcoal just just like that just making a little fillet okay so that's my 16 pounds and we just want to kind of stack it up as best we can. And you just want to kind of make it even all the way around the can. Doesn't have to be perfect. But just stack it up there. You know what? I think I forgot to bring a damn lighter out here. All right, now we're gonna take our excess charcoal and we're gonna put a little bit on top of the can. Yeah. 
about like so and then fill in right down here where I was a little bit uh, a little bit light and that should be good right there we'll call that 20% now you want to take your lighter fluid and just give everything a good soaking all right just like that and the trick to this is once you're at this point you just light it and let it go until the charcoal burns out and that's it so here we go so we've got a little bit of wind coming in from this direction not terrible uh, just a little bit so I'm gonna light it on this side first Come on. All right. Now, we should uh, get this to light all the charcoal pretty quickly. And we want our charcoal to light, you know, all the way around uh, pretty evenly uh, right from the get-go. And, you know, so everything burns uniformly all the way around. Uh, so that's doing pretty good right there. Excellent. Okay. So now that's going to roll for, you know, a handful of minutes. And then those flames will die down. And then we're just in for the charcoal burning. Um, you may want to uh, just take a spade and go around and just ever so gently uh, push the charcoal up if it starts to, to collapse and fall away from the can, uh, but you really don't want to mess with it too much at this point. Uh, so you just kind of have to hope and pray that the turkey is going to come out good because you really have no way to check it. Uh, so this here is trash can turkey and it will be fantastic you don't get looking like this not knowing how to cook things and eat things you know what i mean so uh you, you don't want to take uh in my opinion anyway you want cooking advice from fat people because they know how to get it done <laughs> so this thing is going good uh, now, this whole process only takes, uh, for the actual cooking process, a little over an hour, uh, generally speaking. Um, and, you know, there's not, uh, doesn't really matter too much on the size of the bird. Like I said, this one here is a 16 pound bird, um, but I've done up to a 52 pound turkey like this uh, with a bigger trash can, you know, and about 60 pounds of charcoal. Uh, takes about an hour and a half. So you know it's uh it's a really fast easy cheap and and by a pretty big margin the best way to cook a bird in my opinion and i mean it's just it's so much faster uh and the finished product is so much better so you know if you uh want to try this at your holiday christmas whatever thanksgiving or you know just uh just whenever you feel like eating some turkey um I actually learned this uh, technique from a friend of mine uh, back in the day uh, when I was in my 20s uh, drag racing and a friend of mine, his uncle, uh, would come to the racetrack and do this and I always thought it was so cool and you know we always had great turkey to eat and it was fantastic. It was awesome the way it works um, and it's done so fast you know so that part's pretty amazing. So you can see here, we're getting quite a bit of fire on the top there. Um, and I th really, I think that's, I probably just put too much lighter fluid on there, but not a big deal. Um, but you can see that most of the fire around the base has uh, already burned down. And so now we're just, you know, burning the briquettes, which is what we're looking for. 
and you will see some charring on the outside of the can. Uh, not a big deal. The inside of the can will not show any of that. Um, so, you know, the reason I'm making this video is because I've had so many people ask me about this. I've had, you know, other people that heard that we, you know, comes up in conversation or whatever, trash can turkey, and people want to hear about it and whatnot. And so I figured, screw it, this year I'll just make a video on it, <clears throat> post it up on the channel. But um, with the can, uh, you don't need to pre-burn it or anything like that because none of the bird is actually touching the can. Uh, what I always do is just wash them, you know, hot soap or um, I'm sorry, hot water and just dish soap. Uh, they will have some like oil on the cans from the manufacturing process when you first buy them. Um, but, you know, it's pretty, pretty minor. Um, you just uh, wash them out and you just get out in the yard, scrub brush, whatever, uh, dish soap and and uh, scrub the can but yeah fires just about burned down on the fillet around the can uh, we've got got a little bit uh, oh you know what <laughs> that that's that uh, it is mint light yeah okay so the stuff that I put on top, that's why it's burning like that. This is that uh, instant lighting charcoal that comes with uh, lighter fluid already on them. I forgot about that. Yeah, oh yeah, boy. Whew. Yeah, so I added a bunch of lighter fluid to charcoal that was already soaked in lighter fluid. But you know, it's good. This isn't like on a grill where your, your food is exposed to all that lighter fluid. So in this case, it doesn't matter at all. Um, but, uh, you can see that, you know, you can kind of see on the can where that heat's rising. Now I've used like an infrared, uh, therm uh, thermal gun, uh, a couple of times just to see how hot this can gets. Um, I've registered temperatures that exceed like 950 degrees Fahrenheit, which sounds insane. Um, but that's how it's able to cook that turkey that fast. Um, these temperatures get extremely hot inside that can, uh, but because it's a sealed container um, and you're not moving that air, uh, it, like I said, you know, kind of operates like a pressure cooker. Um, so a little different uh, situation, but so now it's just a matter of letting that charcoal ride until it burns out. And what we'll be left with is just a pile of ash down around the can, pile of ash on top of the can. So we'll scrape that off and, uh, you know, use a spade and just kind of scrape the ashes away around the bottom. Uh, there will be, you know, kind of all the drippings and stuff from the turkey will be down on that tin foil. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. This is trash can turkey in and show you how this is cooking. Okay, let's take a look, see how we're doing here. So we've still got a little fire on top, but that'll burn out pretty soon. But you can see here in some of these areas, you can see it kind of glowing red right in there. So a lot of heat. And so this is your trash can turkey cooking away here. And like I said, these flames will die down. That was my fault for adding lighter fluid or that much lighter fluid to uh, pre lighter fluided charcoal. <laughs> uh, but you know, it's good to go. So wind keeps shifting a little bit. Getting a little smoky here. So we will uh, keep an eye on this. Like I said, generally it takes, uh, you know, give or take hour, somewhere between an hour and uh, uh, hour and a half, give or take. Uh, today it'll probably go a little bit faster, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna let that ride and I'll bring you back when she's uh, done cooking. All right, so we're out here checking on the turkey, seeing how things are going. You can see that that is uh, glowing significantly down there on the charcoal. 
and let's get a little temp reading here on this can see where we're at hopefully you guys can see that yeah so we've got you know six seven hundred degrees let's get in here a little closer Eight hundred, about almost nine hundred degrees, nine nineteen. Yeah. <clears throat> so looks like we're you know around five hundred or so up here at the top. Five five to six hundred. So yeah, things are moving along nicely here, and. Uh, so this is uh, this is definitely uh, cooking as it should. So that is perfect, and we've got a little bit more to go. I don't know. I'd say it's about halfway through, and you can see here that uh, you know all the charcoal down around the bottom is pretty much all turning white at this point. Uh, you can see. Here's a little briquette that is not really burned. Once this is all done, I'll pull this foil up so you guys can see what the ground looks like underneath this. All right, so it got a little darker than I was expecting, but uh, we're just about ready to open this thing up. And hopefully you guys will be able to see this. Uh, let me get a couple of lights turned on here. All right, so I've got my spade here and I'm just going to clean the ashes off the top of this and I'm just gonna throw them right down here on the side. Now, when you go to remove this can, it's still gonna be extremely hot. So you wanna be prepared for that. And uh, now I'm just gonna come in and scrape the, the coals away from the side of the can. when you do this you want to kind of uh, scrape that uh, that tin foil out away from the can as well uh, you guys can probably hear that that uh, popping noise and that's just all the drippings from the turkey hitting those hot coals because they're still pretty damn warm at this point so it's been almost uh, exactly an hour and a half since I started the the uh, charcoal and we still got quite a bit of heat going here um, but I didn't uh, I ended up going or opening this up just a tiny bit early uh, mainly because the wind died down so you can see all that steam coming out of the can now oh yeah starting to get into where the goodie is smells amazing all right so now what i'm doing here i'm just getting the the tin foil out away from the edge of the can so when it's ready i can just lift the can straight up all right now hopefully my gloves got some holes in them here, so I want to do this quickly and not to burn the shit out of my hands. Should have grabbed some gloves that didn't have holes in them. Okay. Now, I'm going to grab the camera here, and I'll bring you in here to take a look at this bird. So, there you go. 
That is a beautifully cooked turkey right there. And I'm going to get it off of here and get it in the pan. Uh, and here, I'll set you right here. Let me get my pan and uh, what I'm going to put on my hands. I've got another pair of rubber gloves here that I'm going to throw on real quick. And then I've got a pair of silicone like oven mitts. Um, but, you know, you can use whatever you want here. Uh, just be prepared because the bird is hot so so I've got uh, rubber gloves on hopefully you guys can see this uh, and then these uh, silicone oven mitts and this seems to work out pretty well uh, the, the silicone insulates pretty good but you still got to move fairly quickly because it is hot All right, there we go. So let's get this thing off of here. Just like so. And put it in the pan. All right, now I'm gonna get these silicone oven mitts off here real quick. And then I'm gonna cover this up with tin foil and then we'll get in the house and I'll show you more. All right, so you can see here that uh, you can see that the neck and the heart and that stuff is done. You can see our wood is not burnt at all, um, but there's still quite a bit of heat coming off of this. So we're gonna just let this sit. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the can back on it for right now. Uh, just so I can take all the rest of the stuff in the house and no animals come up here and mess with any of this. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'll come back out and deal with this shortly. Okay, so here is the finished product of the trash can turkey. And as you can see, uh, we have a lovely absolutely gorgeous cooked thoroughly uh, still raging hot beautiful turkey uh, that we're uh, fixing to get after here so that'll uh, yeah just about do it I'll show what uh, happened on the ground outside there and yeah we'll put this up and hopefully you guys enjoy it happy Thanksgiving <laughs> happy Thanksgiving go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> all right so at this point we're all done i got my uh giblets bagged up here for the for the dogs and now we're gonna clean this thing up and i'm just gonna scoot the rocks off i took my shovel and just uh slid the the uh aluminum foil up off of the stick and get my light turned back on here all right so get these rocks off of here okay let's see if we can get this uh, stake pulled up out of the ground There we go. And then now I'm just going to try and fold this all the tin foil up onto itself. So you can see there, hopefully, the burnt spot in the grass. So that's what I'm talking about when I tell you that, you know, if, if you care about, uh, don't do this in a spot that you care about. So you can see the, the charred spot where the, the charcoal was around the, 
the can, and you can see in the middle where the can was, uh, is unburned. But, there you go. So, not too big of an ordeal, and, you know, this is out in the field out in my place. You know, we've got plenty of land here to not worry about something like this, but, uh, you know, this will grow back. Um, you know, next spring you won't even know that it ever happened there, but still. And then the other thing I was going to show you was the actual can itself. So you can see here on the outside of the can, uh, you can see where the charcoal line was. And the outside of the can is not damaged at all, but you can see where it's had evidence of heat. But on the inside of the can, you can see some condensation down in there. You can see where the charcoal was on the bottom there. Uh, but otherwise, it uh, just looks brand new. So actually, I'm going to dump this little bit of moisture that's in there out. And then, let me go over here, and grab the lid for the trash can. And then you can, uh, you know, just use the lid and keep it like that. Uh, store it somewhere and use it for the next turkey. So uh, the inside stays clean and it's good to go. You can still see steam rolling up off the ground here. At this point in time, it's extremely cold out. I think we're down to about 15 degrees right now. So you can see that the ground's still pretty warm there. Um, still some heat coming out of the tin foil, but uh, yeah, it's all over. Belly's full and uh, it was fantastic. I can't stress enough to you guys, this is by far and away the, it's not just the best and fastest, easiest way to cook a turkey. It also tastes the best. Um, it's just, it's phenomenal. So, so much better than using an oven, so much better than deep frying. We've done a whole bunch of different ways over the years. This, hands down, best way to cook a turkey. Uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed all that. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I gave you, gave you some new ideas or whatever for your next uh, turkey extravaganza. All right, I'm gone. i got to clean this mess up. Later.